Thank you Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. And this is the star of today's show. It's an Asian swamp eel, also known as rice eel, because a lot of people enjoy it with rice. It's not poisonous, it's not aggressive, but sometimes it can carry parasites. Now I'll tell you one thing, holding it on my hand is an experience on its own. When I tell you that this thing is strong, I mean it, as it's 100% made out of muscle. The skin is rough but extremely slimy. This is one of the most bizarre and weird experience I've ever had with food. However, I believe that everything should be treated with respect, especially if it's our food source. Now I have no idea how to prepare this myself. And that's where this guy comes in, Chef Hero. He'll be preparing it several different ways for us today. In the end, we will find out which one is gonna taste best. But the first thing we have to do is to dispatch it. Now this part can be very graphic. I'm gonna cut it out completely from this video. However, if you want to learn how to dispatch it properly, there will be a link on the description for an unlisted video for you to see. But be warned, it is graphic and it can be shocking. But once it had been dispatched, this is what we were left with. As you can see, not a lot of meat. And I must say, Chef Hero did an amazing amazing job, nice and clean and ready to be cooked. Now the first preparation he is going to be doing is this, kind of like a stir fry version. And the way he made it was super quick and here's how. Like every stir fry dish, preparation is key. So he made sure to chop up all the ingredients needed and get them ready. Same thing goes with all of the sauces and all the other items. As once that was done, he started by chopping up the eel in small pieces. Once that was done, he wrapped it up in paper towel real good. He wanted to remove all of the moisture because you know deep fry and moisture is not good. Season it with a little bit of salt followed by a good amount of cornstarch then deep fried the whole thing and the reason he's doing that with the cornstarch is so that it gets nice and crispy however he did not cook it all the way through as after about five minutes deep frying he took it out and into a new pan added some ginger and garlic and stirred that up to finish it off he threw in all of the ingredients together and stir fried the whole thing as once he was done this is what we were left with this right here is something i've never had before not only did it taste fantastic I was actually craving it afterwards. The full recipe will be on the link on the description down below for you. Because once that preparation was done, it was time for the rest. As the next one is going to be this. And if you ever had eel, chances are you ate this style. It's called nigiri. And to make it, it was super interesting and here's how he did it. First thing was to make a teriyaki sauce. Ingredients will be on the description down below for you. That took no time at all. Once that was done, he cooked up some sushi rice. And of course, flavored it with my favorite rice vinegar. That was quick work and the rice was ready because this is the true star of the show and for this one we're gonna cook it sous vide i went ahead and seasoned it with salt pepper and garlic powder then i threw it in the bag vacuum sealed it and it was now ready for sous vide talking about that i wanted to go nice and high on the temperature i went in 185 degrees fahrenheit for 45 minutes once the time was up we took it out and as you can see he shrinked quite a bit so he opened up the bag laid them down on a cooling rack and of course pat them dry real good as now the only thing left to do was to go ahead and finish Finish it off. And for that, we got something to say. I know exactly what you're thinking. It doesn't look that good right now. But watch this. Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid has just released a superpower legendary version of everyone's favorite champion, Death Knight. So Death Knight, what do you think about Ultimate Death Knight? Ultimate Death Knight? To put it simply, I hate him. He will be free to all players during the Death Knight Hunt event. Raid is giving you Ultimate Death Knight, who reminder is not me, for free. Uh, just log in, play seven times between now and October 27th. And Ultimate Death Knight is yours. You can also use promo code DK Rises for free items to instantly level him to level 50, 5 star ascension. I heard he once lost a fight to a baby. How tough can he be? And this month, Ray just released a giant new feature, Awakening, and a brutal new dungeon, the Iron Twins Fortress. Awakening your champions lets you choose a powerful blessing that can transform how they perform in battle. And now it's the best time to get started. Just click my link on the description or scan the QR code here to get unique bonuses worth up to $30. Like a free epic champion, Tyro. 100,000 silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost, and 1 HN charge. All of the treasure will be waiting for you here. So check out the Death Knight Hunt event and use promo code DK Rises to get Ultimate Death Knight for free between now and October 27th. Thank you Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Now let's get right back to it. Alright everybody, here we got our beautiful feast, you know? Yes. 
Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Oh, wow. From what we started all the way up to the end now, that's quite impressive, Hiro. I cannot do that. You can do it. No, 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 no. <laughs> but uh, what is the most difficult part, Hiro, of preparing the eel? I think uh, when you make a cut and open a fillet, that's almost the hardest of parts. You made it look easy. I don't know what you guys went through to get this, but all I know is these dishes look incredible and I know they can't smell it, but the smells that are going on in this studio is awesome. I cannot wait to dive in. I say enough talking. We went through a lot of work here. I want to try it. Let's go. All right, let's go for it. Let's, I say we'll dig in for this one first, yeah? Okay. Okay, please. I'll take not too much, but... Leave some for us, Leo. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> smells delicious, Hero. Smells good. It smells yeah, absolutely right. delicious. You need to up your chopstick game, Leo. Man, you guys are making this look easy. These little greens are <laughs> leafy and slippery. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Ooh, that is delicious. You know, when you first started, you told me that you think it's not going to be good. That is amazing, Hero. I think uh, this is a uh, good. I wasn't expecting it was this much as soft. Very soft, very flavorful, a little bit spicy, yeah. a little bit sweet. Mm -hmm. And then when you combine together with the scallions and everything else, that's delicious. Absolutely. I agree 100% with you, Guga. And you know, hearing that this is eel, I was a little bit hesitant. I thought it was going to be a little bit fishy. It is very slightly fishy, but it's almost a little bit meaty kind of like chicken. It has a little bit meatiness, but it's also easier to pull apart. It's softer. It's a little more tender. The vegetables make it all nice and light. I really enjoy this. 10 out of 10. I love that. Thank you. Now I say we're going to go ahead and jump into the uh, sous vide style. Have you ever made it sous vide before? No. <laughs> Usually we do like a steam or kind of boiling. This is going to be an experiment for both of us then, huh, Hero? Yes. You think it worked or no? Mm. From the looks, it could be a little bit chewy, mm. but um, I have okay. to try first. Let's dig in. Leo. You were Hey. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hero. One try, guys. <laughs> very good. Time, yeah. Very good. <laughs> you know, you were telling me something very interesting about the yeah. tail. The eel. Actually, the tail part is the most tasty part because the eel always moving the tail like this. I did not know about that. So, it's interesting. Lula, you should go. Tail. I should go for the tail. Yes. Enough talking, we'll give this a go. Ready? Yeah. So, let's right. go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Wow. It's not chewy at all. Not chewy at all. It's super, super tender. Yep. And freaking delicious, Hiro. This is actually much, much better than last time I made it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a better, better. <laughs> Subi, Subi wing. <laughs> very nice and tender, very flavorful. That homemade teriyaki sauce. Delicious, everybody. What do you think, Leo? I think it's a little bit more savory than the previous version. I like the, the kind of crust that it has a little bit more. It's not as soft and like saucy. It's more of like a little bit crispier. I was surprised at how when I bit into it, it was actually kind of juicy. I mean, this is absolutely delicious. Which one is your favorite, Hiro? Mmm, I still like this one. Yes, I agree with you too. <laughs> this is not bad too. This is actually very good and it's very nice and tender. But Hiro, come on, you put like a 150 million ingredients here. <laughs> this one is amazing, Hero. <laughs> Leo, which one do you like better? I'm gonna agree with you too. I actually think that this version is a lot better. It just has more flavor, more pop, more kick to it, more pizzazz, and I'm just a fan of this one. The full recipe is gonna be on Hero's channel, by the way. If you guys wanna watch it, highly recommend. Thank you again, yeah. Hero, for Thank coming to the much. channel. Yeah. Guys, go check out Hero. Everything will be on the link on the description down below. He is not only an amazing chef, but also a very good friend. Highly recommend you checking him out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.